Let's get more from Stephanie mm-hmm. Rule, our colleague at NBC. And Steph, I mean, the first thing is, how are you doing? How are mm-hmm. your kids, your three beautiful kids, your hubby? How's everyone feeling now? Uh, we all feel, my kids really never got sick at all, and we are still isolating together, but we're okay. We didn't get super sick. But just because we didn't get super sick doesn't mean we wouldn't have been super spreaders. Yeah. So why did your, you said your husband had like a scratchy throat and so he went to get checked. That was the first thing, right? You know, it's funny. If it were any other day of the year, even this year of COVID, I don't think we would have gone for a test. He basically woke up with hangover symptoms. And, you know, you don't need COVID to have those kind of symptoms. And I woke up exhausted. But because it was the holiday weekend and we didn't have any big plans scheduled, but, you know, we knew our kids would be out in the neighborhood. My sister lives a few houses down. I said, you know what? We're not doing anything this morning. Why don't you run out and get a test? And because I was so sure he didn't have it, Mm -hmm. we had just been tested a few days before because my kids go to school in person. He went for a test and I made the mistake of going in the car with him. But, you know, it takes a while. Where am I going to get the Mm -hmm. test? You're waiting for a couple hours. And then when he got the rapid test results that were positive, suddenly we said, oh, my gosh. And we immediately, you know, all separated and isolated. But we weren't prepared for that. You know, it's so interesting, Stephanie, because you've been practicing what you preach. You said you feel like you and your family did what the experts say you should do, and you got it too. So I'm just thinking if I'm sitting at home right now, I'm mm-hmm. like, well, what am I supposed to make of that? What have mm-hmm. you learned? What do you, what do you feel like you, you could have or should have done, if anything? I definitely think now everybody should have, you know, essentially a game plan, a go bag in your kitchen drawer. Do you have a piece of paper that says, here's my local testing site? Do Mm -hmm. I have a doctor? What is his or her phone number? You know, do we have a bag that probably has an N95 mask or goggles or ibuprofen? Because when you do get that positive test, you can't run out to shop right. You're not going to be making meatballs that day. So this is a time when you want to make sure you know all your neighbors because you're probably going to need your neighbors to be dropping food off. You can't run out to the store. So be prepared. I don't want to say be dire. This thing is coming. Mm -hmm. But look at the numbers. It's all over the place. And the protocols that are in place, I never got a fever. Had I, you know, been able to go into stores for days? Sure. So know that this thing is spreading and make sure your house, as much as it can be, is prepared. You know, my kids were on their own and they're 14, 11 and 7 for essentially a week. And we had to rely on the generosity of neighbors. So just make sure you're communicating because when this thing hits, it's serious. Well, and just lastly, Steph, a lot of people are going for tests. The problem is they don't get the test results back for like a week. So they're going about their normal business during those seven days and then later finding out that they did, in fact, have it. And there's no fix to that. And well, there certainly should be, you know, we've been in this situation for such a long time. Even me, you know, I have access to all sorts of support. It took us days to get test results. Some of our test results never came back. And the fact that we're still waiting, the woman who cuts my hair, Hoda, I exposed her. I actually didn't know I had it yet, but my husband did. So I exposed her. She canceled her holiday. She didn't go to work for almost two weeks. That's no money for her. And she, she took her kids out of school and she waited eight days for a negative result. So this is a call to action to our lawmakers that, yes, it's great that we have a vaccine coming, but we don't have a vaccine immediately. Mm -hmm. And when you do take that test and you're expected to quarantine for a while, we need to consider what that does to a lot of people financially. Financially, many people think they can't afford to quarantine, Mm -hmm. especially those who don't have symptoms. So we need to start considering this because the only way to be safe is to take those tests and isolate. And we've got to be in a position where we can really do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Uh, one of the reasons why it's so important to get economic relief is yeah. so that they can, folks can do the right Indeed. thing for public health. Indeed. Stephanie, we're glad you're feeling better. Yeah, we sure Great are, Steph. To you. Thank you. Good to Thanks see so you. Thanks so much.